decided to go 10 days without a coat because I found out that in my local community of Colorado Springs, there were 5,000 people that didn't have coats. 5,000. Specifically, it was a bunch of single moms and their kids. Now, I don't know if you know this, but one of the fastest growing homeless populations in the United States is single moms and their children. I decided to go home, throw all my coats on the bed, and see if I could help in some way. Because I assumed, you know, I probably have a few extra coats. Well, I got home and I started laying these coats on my bed, and I had no idea how many coats I had. I mean, a lot of coats and jackets. And that doesn't include all the sweatshirts and other warm <laughs> outerwear that I have. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go 10 days without a coat in the middle of winter, and I'm going to see how many coats I can collect for the local rescue mission. And in many ways, this was the most successful campaign that I did, at least from a pu publicity standpoint. I got on two local news stations. A Sunday school class in North Carolina heard about what I was doing, and they decided to participate. Um, and then the pinnacle, the, the thing I got most excited about was there was this lady that I had never met before. She had never read one of my blogs. She saw the story on the news and dropped off an entire bag of kids' coats. And I was so excited. I was like, man, this is awesome. I'm really making a difference in the world. Well, by the end of the 10 days, I counted all the coats that I had collected. And guess what? I collected around 100. Now, I'm not super good with math, but I think if you take 5,000, subtract 100, you come up 4,900 jackets or coats short of the mark. I felt like a failure. Maybe we need to redefine our terms. Maybe we need to redefine what we mean when we say we want to change the world. Let's, let's change the story around for a second. Let's say that I was able to go down to the rescue mission and find one of the women that had received one of my coats. And let's say I was able to go to her and say, ma'am, what did it mean to you to have a coat for the winter? What did it mean to you that your son had a coat for the winter? Do you think she might say it meant the world to me? See, there's that the world phrase again. Instead of trying to change the world, we need to make it our daily goal to change someone's world. 